Hello and welcome back to another Saving Your Disaster campaign in XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're jumping right into the matter. Got a fresh Saving Your Disaster campaign ready and cooked up for you. We are bound to defend the Avenger. We've been shut down by a Chosen, an unknown one. I don't know uh, whom we're fighting against. Uh, but let's take a look at uh, the team. I think just from the uh, from the team itself we do have a bit of a problem here because a lot of these guys are very very low rank so i can only assume if these are the 10 best guys that the author can, could uh, master they were in a really really tough position so we got a reaper here with uh, only an expanded magazine the skills generally are fine he has silent killer and can scout for us we do have a sniper here no modified weapon mind you we do have a grenadier no modified weapon uh, all basics by the way this here is uh, a squaddy uh, ranger uh, then we got a um, captain uh, specialist zulu <coughs> uh, with uh, threat assessment and healing so i was actually very well uh, skilled overall so um, I potentially wouldn't have taken scanning protocol, but whatever. <clears throat> we got another sniper, so two snipers. We got a pretty decent Templar, actually. It seems to be kind of one of the main guys in the campaign uh, with Fortress, so we can definitely work with that, believe me. We got another Grenadier, and we got, I think, a Rookie. <laughs> Plus another Rookie. So, yeah, well... Two Grenadiers, two Snipers, one uh, Ranger, one Specialist, and then a higher level uh, Templar and a higher level uh, Reaper. Now, our saving grace will be that there are XCOM turrets. Uh, the author of uh, this campaign apparently has uh, listened and has built a defense matrix, which is a phen phenomenal decision. One of my favorite buildings because it prevents you from one of the very few situations where you can actually lose the game, as in the Avenger Shutter. Good. We are fighting against Chrysalids and something else over here. Uh, well, that's tough. All right. I just realized since there is a ledge here, our uh, turrets might not be as useful as they typically could, which is really a shame. So, let's move our soldiers to the front. Uh, I would keep the snipers a little bit further to the back. Rookies way. to the front, as always. Uh, sniper here. Our specialist here, the other sniper here, I can cover it. Templar to the front, Closing on target position now. and the other rookies to the front. Okay, good. We have a bit of a combat formation going, which is not bad. Now, whom are we fighting against? Let it be the... Warlock, oh, okay. Heretics, come for. Immune to explosions can summon um, mechanical units. Uh, will problem, that's nasty. Uh, the soul stealer is particularly bad. Hates reapers, well we got a reaper and uh, hates close attacks. So that's important and the fact that we can't really damage him with uh, explosives but we can shred him so that's the fine must have caught wind of our operation they sent in one of the chosen we should try to track that thing down and deal with it before it causes too much trouble lots of chrysalids not good or as they say no bueno Well, listen, I think we do have a 
line of sight problem with the chrysalids. What I could do is I could do something along those lines. Yeah, let's do a bit of a double whammy. I don't want to take a lot of risk. So we're starting with Claymore into we don't have salvo so might as well move up and gain some ground and that's the double whammy we have been looking for reload shoot bam <laughs> four for one like it not so bad Gives us the possibility to then move up. No place for you to go now. Next round, we're going to see zombies. That's a pretty large map. I definitely want to get that down. And might as well start with getting the chrysalids now. down do we have another turret new no. that's unfortunate Moving to designated coordinates. there we go that's what I'm talking about Let's get the Templar. Bit unfortunate. Not quite there. Let us move up. Rokis are moving up. Doesn't matter that we're standing in the open, mainly because chrysalids don't care about cover. Okay, hmm. Good question. So, Templar could not reach them. Hmm. I couldn't make it through. Yeah, they will be able to reach us, but we can still Overwatch trap them. So, that's one, two Overwatches, three Overwatches. Four overwatches, five overwatches. Sniper into better position. Seems doable. And our other sniper should also get into a better position. The latch is helpful. Keep in mind, zombies will be spawning as well. So likely the, uh, the chrysalids go first and then the zombies are going to join. Alright, here we go. There we go. Typically not the best, uh, not the biggest fan of uh, those overwatch traps. Because you kind of take a chance that they reach you. But we had so many shots that it would have been statistically unlikely that anything could have happened. And here we go with the remaining zombies. Oh, got his promotion right away. I like that. Okay. 
Peekaboo? Oh no, really? Still slightly out of line of sight. Well, that concludes the issue. Fantastic. Good. So, moving on. As you order, Commander. We are... I found them <sighs> More chrysalids. Okay. It's... Yeah, well... Well, it's not triggering any of them. Okay. I'm on the move. Look, we're slowly but surely moving forward. Snipers are moving up. Templar is definitely moving forward. Uh, more rookies to the front line, please. triggering potentially not but I still want to be careful I think having a flanking shot from over here might be the best solution all right so overwatch 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 A deeper in. Overwatch. We're starting to take these trucks out. The advent power cells are at maximum charge, Commander. <clears throat> Very soon we're going to see a huge boom. I think we're just going to pull the chrysalids now. Bring them on. Okay, that was a massive mistake. Off the chrysalids, that is. Because now we can destroy the truck and deal some extra damage on top of it. Good. That's one turret down, but we still need to deal with the rest. Watch your flanks out there. All right, none of the towers can hit anything. That is a bit disappointing. Could go for this here. We could plasma grenade. Can we hit three? No. I'll think about it. I can handle that. Alright, so... I would like to 
give our Templar the opportunity to actually kill something, build a, a reasonable amount of focus. Unfortunately, we're a bit short on damage. Uh, we do have Silent Killer, which means... We can kill one of these guys without getting detected. Get some blood trail on top of it. Not bad. Very good. If we're parrying, then that will uh, at least ignore one of their attacks. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Okay, we're just going to go to the front line. I would absolutely love to move over here afterwards we're moving over there all right this guy is shredded i think we're not able to kill all of uh, them it's likely not going to be a kill oh. never mind okay so we're going to take some damage There's the parry. I am the focus of their attack. They found us. Yeah, sure. That is the XCOM engine kind of knowing where we are and instead of going for an attack, rather deciding to spot us out. One more round until one more round until we get zombies. Okay. Promotions on our squaddies. That's good. Can't hit anything with the turrets. Oh, that's unfortunate, but part of uh, that problem is we're way too far up. good keep in mind we're soon going to have we're very soon going to have uh, new zombies so gotta be careful here Kill this guy. Nope, we cannot. Miss the target. Running dry. That could be a kill, but not necessarily. Hmm. to get deeper in there might be another pack here so it would be dangerous just to assume we can rush in it's one of those situations where you don't want your Templar just to rush forward to here overwatch all of the turrets overwatch okay 
Okay, Ward helping Nightwalker. That also gives an extra Overwatch shot there. Trying to get the Chrysalid down as far as possible. Not bad. Good uh, initial hit. And we're playing it safe. Could play it um, much more aggressive, but like I said, the chances of failure are unfortunately too high. There we go, Shield Bearer is in level range. Overwatch here, Overwatch here. Okay, that worked out well. That was by far the most dangerous foe. Full cover. Zombies, bring them on. And that should trigger all of our nice little overwatches. him so hard that he was shot right into the tree line. Turrets can actually shoot. That's a bit unfortunate. Moving, out. Moving away from the inbound explosion. Yeah, well, sometimes you just miss this 90% shot, eh? Good, we're moving up. Uh, defense and low cover, okay, yeah, and we're really not good at hitting. That is lamentable. Only the best. Death from above into a nice little um, reload. Back into the shadows. I must move quickly. You I'm just going to use this here as a scouting opportunity. All right, I figured that uh, very soon we're going to see some more action. But luckily, we have found that this guy here is all alone. Could have picked up the other. Uh, the other focus yeah so uh, they will have a bit uh, of fun together we're going to move further to the left because th that is where all the cool kids are the other 
trucks are going to be there. Nah, if we can't can prevent it, I would absolutely like to keep the ammunition. Okay. Good, almost down. Oh nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. I actually like that. Nah, we're not going to go and pull that pack now. Okay, fabulous. So one side cleared. We have a strong foothold in the middle. Okay, well, listen, we're not going to engage with the others yet. What I would want to say is, I think this here, to get f full focus. Oh, the triggered, okay. Interesting. Into this here. That's a rock solid combination. I will lose position. I have sight beyond vision. Couple of remote starts, all of that is great. But I think what we need to first is to deal with the robots. Let's shred the heavy mac. Good. That removes a lot of the vision obstruction. And finally our turrets are doing something meaningful. Very nice. Defense matrix carrying comme toujours, as they say. And now the elevated position for those really, really big targets like the gun is of course making a lot of sense we've just noticed that there is a triplet uh, pack over here one that I could get with remote start so I'll think about that but before we're continuing to do anything I would like to take out the max. Nice little death from above. What did you expect? That sniper is really good. Moving rookies to the front line. snipers further to the front line. And most of the good spots are already taken. Good to go. Let's do this. Affirmative. Covering now. No problem. 
All right, we have a solid fire line. I like what I'm seeing. It would be risky to engage with that pack because they could move in and then although I've dealt damage, might just leave them there to be entirely honest. No, no, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's kill this guy. Okay. Now we do have a problem. Sure, I've just used the needle shot. Ouch. Zombies? What? Next round. Okay. Good. We're a little bit injured. Not necessarily a concern. If we take out uh, the shield bearer. Moving further away, mainly because we will now need to deal with cover. And this is a great option. We'll deal damage, remove cover, let him fall to the ground on top of that and guess who's standing right in the open it's the shield bearer far as to say excellent but not bad for the st uh, for a start yeah Order On the move. very nice I should potentially shred him first Unfortunately for us, there is not a lot of ammo penetration. You know what? Let's just get that shield bearer. tragic figure the warlock is he has fully bought into their propaganda there we go and we're definitely parrying rocky moves forward And of course, the guy dodges. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Uh, you know, when we're anyways going to do all of that Overwatch stuff, how about we're letting Mama Bear here take an extra Overwatch? Zombies are going to come in and 
Yeah, we should be fine. Other than that. We can barely keep our systems online. We have to take out that gun. Alright, work like a charm. Work like a charm. Couple of zombies. Yeah, look. If you uh, if you try trick shots with grabbing the gun through your legs, of course you're going to miss. Okay, let's deal with the zombies first. One move. Two moves. right yep so that's a kill into explosion into almost another kill so we know there's another pack there right so we gotta be a bit careful. A good decision. Tepla as, as a front line is not bad. We just want to have vision on the cannon. Good work out there. The generator is down and the cannon is disabled. Now we just need to mop up the remaining enemy forces. All right, easy enough. Um, <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, we're saving that uh, just in case it's needed. Other uh, sniper moves forward, and I think we'll just take easy kills at this point. Good move. All of you guys are moving up. Can't hide again, which is okay. The second part was definitely my failure. I should have just stayed, uh, stayed hidden. Unfortunately, this pack did not uh, stand close enough to the explosion, else we would have gotten them. I am nearly upon you. This round will be f a freebie, next round will be zombies again. Okay, everybody moves up, even if it is just slightly. Yeah, that's too far away, even for towers. Nope. Zero percent actually means zero percent, so no point in trying. What we can try is... Uh, to molest the 
Archon. Then we're breaking line of sight here and are going to hunker down. And we're then simply going to overwatch trap. Not very original, but it's okay. The pack was too far forward. If you find yourself triggering packs that are so far forward and you can't really reach them, it's a good sign that your uh, that your formation is too loose, and you basically need to have a tighter fire line. Optimally, you want to have them kind of on one uh, level, and you can see how far exposed the Templar is. So it should be at best here. That way everybody can interact once uh, you're pulling a pack. Which is why you're seeing many of my movements now. With the intention to close the ranks of our fire line. There are two packs left. This one here and the one that we've already uh, seen. Which I didn't want to pull beforehand. That is, by the way, complete bullshit. Couldn't have uh, spotted us. I was fully out of line of sight, but yet he still managed to go there. Yeah. Things that X XCOM does when it is in dire straits, it begins to come up with these, I will call them a clever solutions. one running back My life, I know where you are. that's two very good Number three, just getting all of the armor off. Double checking if, nope, that's still a 0% chance. to hurt them a little bit. Ivar, the rookie, does the same. Nice little double kill. Good, they are Predominantly going for low hit point targets, which in this case would be Manchester. We have definitely don't want to lose them, so Back in. Not a problem. So naturally we're giving the aid protocol to them. Good copy. Moving on target. I'm on it. More Overwatch. Moving on target location. And Moving more Overwatch. Point. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of overwood traps. Typically means that you couldn't alpha strike and kill the enemies, but sometimes it's the only thing that is available.
Oh wow. Midi tech? Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Well, well, well. Let's try to get a couple of these guys down. Very nice. We're stunned here, so not much is happening. Okay, um, Seems doable. moving completely up, that's good. Alright, later guys, very nice, those three are gone. Good, can we help? Up here. Thirteen percent is not zero percent. So maybe we can at least remove cover. Typically that's what's happening. Okay. Not this time though. Another spectral zombie on the other side. a little bit out of actions which is I think we might want to go to here to have better odds next turn to shoot that one is okay um, Slightly repositioning, mainly to get this guy in range. Okay, worked out well. No, we want the heavy mag. Turrets cannot help anymore, and Nightwalker really needs to find a better place. I would say this here ain't bad. It's full cover and far enough away. The shield bearer will just do shields. Oh no, there is no shield bearer. Well, purifier can't do much. These two might shoot, and we might get micro missile, but we should generally be okay. But that reduces it to two shots maximum. And mind you, Nightwalker has the same half cover than the others. Full cover with marking equals half cover. Which is sort of why I did it. This is double move. Yep. As predicted. Not much to see there. And now maybe my missiles. No, double move as well. 
Okay. Experience certainly helps you with not over committing. This is the point where a, gr a grenade would absolutely work wonders, but it's unfortunately not happening. Nope. Okay, listen, we're starting with the safe and secure kills. I want the mech on. Can't just position yourself that open um, and expect not to be shut down. Okay, that trooper uh, is covered too well and we don't have line of sight. Hmm. Do we have any more grenades? I think I have been a bit too loose with our utilization of grenades. Which means, at the end of the day, it is the sniper who brings forward a few grenades. Good purifier heavily injured. Full cover. Purifier now also shredded. We only have one hit point, so we're going to stay a bit behind. Adjusting aim. Could use some ammo over here. Good copy. Moving on target. Um, you know. I think we're okay here. The rookies might be able to take a couple of shots. Okay, not bad. This can remove cover, even though there is 0% chance to hit. And I wouldn't mind getting the cover removed. Elsewise, uh, it's not going to look great because we don't have other cover removal skills. I'm hoping for active cover removal, which is not really happening. Um, unless we can get one of these guys down. It's going to be a very painful process. Can't flank them. I could explode this here, opening up a whole host of uh, line of sights. I could flashbang them. Definitely could go in uh, with. Uh, with a Magister, but that would be equally dangerous, so I don't want to do that. Nightwalker could take another shot, theoretically. Another hit, that is. Tell you what, um, we're just going to disorient them. It's not great, but it is okay. Be wary of my mark. 
Bit of damage. I could use Vanish, but I want to keep that for uh, the Chosen. And we'll just try to get one of them down, 60%. Yeah, not great, but okay. Oh, wow. Crit into cover. That's nasty. Okay, well, we're definitely spreading the damage across all of our uh, soldiers at this point. We moved all of the cover in one go. We're giving ourselves full cover here with our specialist. Don't want to take any risks. Frontline is getting slimmer and slimmer because almost all of our guys have already taken damage. Lots of uh, soldiers down to one hit point. Zombies now, and then he will join, or he directly decides to join, that's also a possibility. Good, no more zombies. Would love to hit him and shred him. Well, that's not happening right now. There is the risk of a mind control. Good, no shredding. That in itself is already not great. Good, full hit points to the front line. Yeah, no chance of hitting him from back here. That's a long run. Uh, I think we're just going to overwatch. Low hit points, not necessarily to the front line. Forty percent better than nothing. Okay, it's the first bit of damage. We definitely need to shred him. Oh, that's a given. But it's not going to be easy. Good. Uh, either Mind Blast or... Oh, well, that is an option as well. But he can still do Mind Blast or Mind Control. That's oh, not, not too bad. That's actually okay. Mind Scorch.
trust this one is well versed in your way, Commander. Okay, before we do anything, let's see. Three percent is not zero percent, so might as well give it a chance. It's potential free damage. came from it. Give me time to reload. Now is a good time for banish, just so that we're Oh wow. Get the armor. Yeah, not great, but almost got through the armor. Gosh, really bad. Full revival protocol should also cure the uh, disorientation. And then let's just deal some damage, please. Thank you. Good. Now we're going to kill this guy. Very good. And that gives us death from above for reloads. I'm already thinking about the next turn. Okay. Free revive. We need to deal with the second mech, uh, uh, heavy mech. Reload, but not enough time to then take another shot. Can't move because elsewise we would trigger Overwatch. Need to first of all shred the mech, and that means no shredding onto. Okay, that didn't work out. Great. That's a bit tougher than expected. Trigger Overwatch. Certainly doesn't help us that we're missing a lot of 60-70% shots. Another 50-50 missed. Our troops are shockingly incompetent. Really. Like, wow. Okay, I no just can't move. The target is marked. Luckily, our... Uh, luckily, our... Um, Templar is immune. To... Uh, to explosion damage. This, on the other hand, is a problem. Right, we're just going to move a slight bit away from the mind control. Unbelievable. Statistically unlikely how many shots were missing. Deflection. 
And without proper shredding, I really don't see how we're going to get the warlock down. shot missed it if I wouldn't know any better it really seems like the game absolutely doesn't want us uh, to win this mission it's crazy just the amount of missed shots is be it's is unreal other ones uh, that are 10% or 17% that I really don't expect any of them to hit. I haven't fully counted, but I I would guess it was about 20 shots that were above or near 50-50 that all missed over the course of the last like three-ish rounds. to take the dead eye because it's still armored <laughs> no you no you cannot only blame yourself there's actually a very valid reason to blame RNG need to norm, uh, take normal shots uh, okay and we need to risk the Templar We're full focus again and we're parrying. That's pretty much it. Okay, well, gotta deal with mind control. There is really not much we can do about it. up 50 50 let's shred him <laughs> of course Like I want it to work. On the move. Get back in there. Wow, the first fifty fifty in a while that was hitting. Trying to sort of move out of direct um, flankable positions and at the same time moving towards him because proximity towards the warlock is the only thing that can help us. I need to be able to flank him and get close. Um, don't want to give ourselves a protocol because we hit our own uh, our own soldier so instead what I would want to do is get far enough away no cover here I successfully removed that yeah we're 
It's do or die now, so if we lose another soldier, then that is... it is what it is. Really can't change it. One more round of mind control after that, so it's going to uh, hurt either way. Oh, I see. Yep, yep. You're taking... Finally, mind control lost. Alright, shred him. Nice, but that was not a shredding because we haven't shred on. Uh, Magus is the only one who can shred him, and that's the one he mind controlled. Convenient, good target selection from him, I would say. Very good. Finally, that's a type of damage I was hoping to see. Nah, we're overwatching. No, overwatch, 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 overwatch. I am at your service. 40% good enough. Nope. No bueno. Moving closer. Zulu gives an overwatch over here into flank and then overwatches themselves. 12%, not good enough. We're a little bit too far away. Squad side, uh, squad side penalty is now kicking in. But on the flip side, we are able to just hit him every single round. Okay, that's not too bad. I can work with the Spectral Army. ammunition with uh... okay well look we will do the little spectral army trick where we are damaging all of them uh, where we are almost killing all of them short of one If we're staying in the open, the rookie's life isn't worth that much. Don't get me wrong, I would love to keep them. But it's more important to get these guys down. start I like it once again a straight miss unfortunate
Good, we're fine. Parrying here. Overwatch. All we need to do now is get this guy down. And then we have a full round to completely unload on that stupid chosen. Okay, well, here we are. Finally, he is shredded. Oh, yeah. I have the feeling that someone is going to regret their life choices. Very nice. Yeah, well, that was tougher than expected for first mission. So we lost one. I can't see why the author of the safe game might have had problems with this uh, particular f mission. Listen, I, I'm not yet at the root cause analysis, but the team was not good that he put together. So we need to keep working with the factions to track their position. The sooner we take them out, the better. Okay, uh, how about we're taking steady hands. Generally what I'm seeing is competent skills, but something must have, uh, must have gone completely sideways. So for starters, I would like to double check, oh yeah. So Iron Slayer. Aside from us getting the ship up and running, at the very beginning, he lost two. Work. No, wait, 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 wait. That's American way of putting the dates in. Uh, at the very beginning, he lost a uh, Templar, potentially in the first retaliation mission. Okay, well, that can happen. Lost two lieutenants. Then Iron Slayer happened, L lost the Colonel right there, and the Swaddy. See, that's what I'm not 100% understanding. If you don't feel comfortable with your, like, to get a Colonel that early in the game, well, to be fair, he hasn't lost anything until this point, and then in September and October, everything just went downhill. I'm just trying to uh, p uh, picture together what has happened in this campaign. You wouldn't want to have a squaddy and a colonel in the same team unless you really know what you're doing. This, for me, screams like he was greedy. Something didn't really work out. Um, Operation Foolish Heart was definitely not good. Uh, Captain, Corporal, Lieutenant, all foolish heat. Uh, but yeah, all died. Couple of captains died. Skirmisher down the drain. This looks like either a Psyop. Nah. More like a normal, uh, mm, normal soldier, just with a strange portrait. Anyways, Operation Doomfall and Frosty. This, I think, what I just played. So we're at uh, the mid of uh, the mid of October. Let's take a look at the armory. Are you kidding me? How's that even possible? I, I don't understand. Like, I just played with these guys with the bottom of the barrel. He just put all of uh, the lobbies in here. And 
Black Widow, yes, but uh, they were on the mission. So the two majors, okay, something is definitely not working out. And then no, no one got bound, uh, bonded. How is, how is that not a thing? It's just free pro power grab. There is no reason not to do it. Okay, well, a rookie is... Anyways, this is... Uh, wow. Okay. I, we have to do a lot of cleanup, but before I will do any of that, let's look at, at the rest, because I'm trying to picture together how this campaign could go so sideways. So, started with GTS and resistance ring. Yeah, got a power relay. Okay, can I understand that. Clearly then was um, afraid of taking too many losses and got an infirmary so that the timing goes down. Okay, I can understand that. Laboratory built way too late, not upgraded. That is a big strategic blunder. Uh, defense matrix uh, got upgraded. I think that was one of your best decisions in this entire campaign and proving grounds again way too late. You're now building a spark. Dude, uh, timing is off. I, I will say that. So here's the deal. Laboratory is either one of the first buildings that you're building in the first three rows, if you want to use it, and then you're also upgrading it because really what this does is gives you one extra uh, scientist at the moment, and that's about it. So you either put it very much at the beginning and then you're ahead of the curve, or you just leave it uh, for now. I can't contest the GTS and the resistance ring, that is fine. Sometimes infirmary third is uh, is okay, but I would potentially have gone proving ground and training center. Training center is nowhere to be seen. You do have massive amounts of untapped potential. Don't underestimate just how strong the I training center is. Uh, he's now going for uh, big fat powered armor. That's fine. He's on the way to plasma weapons. I get it. So I think uh, just research wise, He's okay, it, it, it's good, but he has just lost a lot of soldiers. And I bet you, if I lo look into the resistance ring, um, something is not adding up. Okay, he wants to um, hunt the Chosen. Okay, I get that. But I could almost guarantee you that there are promotions hidden here. Uh, for instance, extra XP maybe even individual soldiers. Uh, guy has 111 intel. You could buy additional soldiers from the black market. Listen, if you if you do have an armory like this, you got to refill your ranks. You do have five decent uh, soldiers for October. If you put the lieutenants in, I'll give you that. You do have a squ one squad, and I'm not saying that uh, double sharpshooter uh, is a fine squad okay so uh, let's ignore the uh, let's ignore the classes for a moment i would uh, argue your first six soldiers are fine but you are losing way too uh, too many here then there is a huge drop off of, of a cliff this is an incredibly um, challenged roster look at just the amount of wounds and again something is not adding up why is there a gravely wounded 24 days if you do have an infirmary what is Patricia doing? Well, apparently that would have been 48 days. Okay. Gosh. Yeah, we're screwed. Um, let's take a peekaboo on the strategy layer. <laughs> okay, Avatar project almost full. Um, can assault a good facility here that's good you got that one unlocked that's good i like it got a str uh, chosen stronghold here that's the guy who just shot you down uh, you would have been ready to go uh now it doesn't matter that much but oh you don't even know the third chosen oh yeah He's, he has fully hunted. This now is down to here. Uh, yeah. 
Continent bonus. Greater resolve, but you haven't even built uh, enough to get the con uh, continent bonus. That's a bit of a mistake as well. Here, this is your solution. Live fire training. New recruits will start as sergeant. This is what you should have been working towards. Make contact, ba 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 ba. Live fire training, there you go. That's the solution. Suit up, not good. And we don't know what that is. Yeah, so you want. Okay, the learning out of this campaign so far is uh, way too, too little context, also. Definitely the mistakes have been made on the strategy layer, and then it, the. The, the fact that you lost soldiers definitely added to the pressure. I can understand why at some point this feels uncontrollable. If you don't have a good team together, make sure you use all of the options to gain new uh, soldiers. Black market, first and foremost. Uh, GTS, recruit uh, hero classes if possible. Take promotions to just backfill uh, your roster and just make sure that you are tactically uh, on, uh, on par. Secondly, um, I wouldn't want to see a laboratory in row two again. Uh, this is a bit a big mistake. And yeah, the rest is okay. I mean, I don't see massive, massive blunders here, but it's just the amount of small blunders uh, that makes this difficult. And then clearly your color coding is off. This is. Also, for Saiken, that is a bit of an OCD trigger. Snipers, you want to have white, not pink. They are no, not Power Rangers. Um, that's fine. Grenadiers, I understand why someone would uh, choose blue, but uh, not in my world. Good. I think the Templar is, is really, really strong. There is even a chance for for Bladestorm, so might as well use that. And look at that, 121 ability points. I told you, dude, you're you're missing out on the training center. We're, we're going with deep focus. We're going with reflect because it's good. We're going with lightning hands because it's extra damage. There is no point in not uh, taking these. And for the chosen fights in particular, we're going with Amplify. So this is going to be one of our carries. The Reapers have no interest in leading the world into a new age. Not under my watch, anyway. The aliens took everything from humanity, and we aim to take it back. It's that simple. What people choose to do with their lives beyond that point is up to them. Good. Um... In terms of abilities here, skill is okay, but I would always suggest you take Field Medic over Scanning Protocol, specifically on Legendary Iron Man. Okay. Scanning Protocol is okay. I can see you potentially fought against uh, the um, the Assassin one, uh, one too many times, but rather take a Battle Scanner, man. The two extra charges are too good to not take them. And yeah, Ranger, let's see how he has skilled this guy. Soldier abilities, Blade Master, I can see that Shadow Stab and Run Gun, that's good, but no contest. Good, we got a couple of squaddies. I won't color correct everything right now, but over time in this campaign, you will see me color correct that because it can't let you just move on with these stupid color schemes. And um, got another sharpshooter. I would have argued that's the least of our concerns at the moment. You know, that's potentially something for the roster as well. Try to keep an even roster. And if you just look at the classes, um, potentially you want another ranger here. You definitely have a surplus of sharpshooters, way too many, um, and way too little specialists. That's my initial assessment. And with that assessment, uh, I'm not alone because you did a specialist training. Cool. Well, 
That's already not too bad. We're getting there. Another specialist? No. Another grenadier. Well, not terrible. I would argue a specialist would have been better here. Good. Okay. Long-winded intro, but given the severity of this campaign, I rather want to make sure I'm on top of everything. So we have enough intel. Where is the black market? Uh, gone to ground. Okay, well, that explains it. Alien Lois and Alarium crystals. I think we're going to go with that. Uh, don't have a lot of supplies. <sighs> New cord. It's a tough one, mate. It's a tough one. Gotta make sure that the Avatar project. <laughs> engineer and a major yeah we're going to destroy this relay um, how do we go about that because we need money I can tell you how we're going about that um, let's release the spark that's a hundred there we go we got money and money can buy us recruits uh without <laughs> i can't believe that i'm going in uh, with absolute bonkers lobbies we got after that last mission got one grenadier available yeah and a tired sharpshooter that needs to pull the weight so we got two which means we need four uh, and that means we're going to do a hail mary play here and can we get some of the characters out of my character pool in here? Uh, not yet. Uh, maybe next month. That is unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Well. Typically, you see a lot of uh, recruits here. So, listen, I think that's um, a job for the German crew. I'll just hire a couple of German recruits. One, two, three, four. Uh, which means it's now the all German rookie team. Ratatatam. And uh, with Black Widow, it's definitely almost an all German team that um, used up all of our supplies. And the next time, dear viewers, we're going to see how well we can do with a German rookie only team in uh, defeating a mid to end game mission. At least the assault rifles have already been upgraded, so that's, that's a start. I suppose and yeah we're going to have some fun thanks for watching if you enjoy disaster campaigns listen if you enjoy disaster campaigns move over to the like button and definitely leave a comment down below if the first video trends the series typically uh, goes very well I would appreciate if you could do that for me and see you on the next episode bye bye